we're finally on page four. There's a lot in this chapter. Um, but now we're at a point where we're talking about division and long division. Now, when I first brought this up, the students will remember I had a lot of glazed looks um, on the eyes of the students. Long division is not something they knew most people for this last couple of weeks. So it's still very new. And why you do this and why you do that is still a bit of a mystery. Uh, I'm going to have just one or maybe two long division questions. This is what a grade five long division question would probably look like. And the grade sixes are responsible for this and a question that might look like that. So first of all, I'm going to rewrite long division this way. But what we're really doing with long division is we are looking at different groups that we can remove from this 125. So 5 divided into 125. We're looking for how many groups of 5 are hidden in here. Um, what I do to just kind of keep it organized, especially at the beginning, is draw some dotted lines to kind of let us know, um, you know, where the numbers should line up. First thing I do is I find out how many groups of 5 will go into the first number. The first number is 1. How many even groups of 5 can I make with a 1? Well, the answer is none. So I go on to the next number. Now I'm looking at 12. How many even groups of 5 can I make uh, with in 12? How many groups of 5 are there? And there are two groups of 5. So the number of group goes on top. So there's two groups of 5. And 2 times 5 is 10. There's 10 groups. Uh, sorry. There is two groups of 5, and it adds up to 10. And so I'm going to do a little a subtraction now. I'm taking away these groups out of the total. So 12 take away 2. Sorry, 12 take away 10 is 2, and there I am. So now, how many groups of solid groups of 5 can you make with a 2? Well, you can't make any. So then I bring down the next number, and I attack that number. So 5 into 25, well, that's a solid 5 groups here. There's nothing left over, and the 5 goes up there. So the answer is uh, 5 divided by... I just, read a I just realized, boys and girls, this should really be the other way around. It's really 125 divided by 5 equals 5. Sorry about that. Equals 25. It really should be 492 divided by 12. My apologies in advance. I'll fix that in class. We start with a large number. We divide other groups into that. Okay, let's try this harder one. 12 into 492. Again, how many solid groups of 12 can I make with 4? None. How many groups are in 49? Well, I can go to 48. 48 will give me 4 groups of 12. 4 groups of 12, 4 times 12 is 48. So I can, I can remove 4 groups here. Now secretly, this is really in the 10s column. So really, eventually, that's going to be 40 groups. But for now, let's just think of it as 4 groups. Now I do the subtraction here, and I have a 1 that comes down. Again, I can't make a solid group with a 1. So I bring down the 2. Now I can make one more solid group. And that will be 41 remainder 0. All the questions on the test will have remainder 0. So it should be nice and easy. So 492 divided by 12 is 41. And 125 divided by 5 is 5. So sort of for that boo-boo boys and girls and parents. Uh, we'll fix that in class. But that is what uh, long division looks like. Finally, we're going to talk about order of operations. What do you do first? Because this question here, if I do 2 plus 3, I can get 5 times 5. The answer could be 25. Or is it 3 times 5 is 15 plus 2 is 17? Uh, depending on the order of operations, you're going to get two different numbers. An acronym to remember is bed mass. And B stands for brackets. So anything in brackets, you do first. Now, the next is exponents. We don't do exponents, so we'll let that one ride. Uh, then you do divide. Then it's multiply. Then it's adding. Finally, subtraction is the lowest on the totem pole. So knowing that I do this, uh, if there's brackets, I do that first. And then division over multiplication and adding over um, subtracting. So let's take a look at one here. Uh, the highest uh, ranking operation here is multiplication. So I'm going to do that first. What I do is I throw in 
some brackets myself just to remind my brain this is what I do first. So 3 times 5 is 15 plus 2, it really should be 17. Now again, in this one, division comes first. So I'm going to bracket that off myself to say this is number 1, then do that. So 4 divided by 1 is 1. Then, after that's done, I'm now doing 4 times 1, and that gives me the 4. And this one here, i got multiplication. It ranks the highest, so I do that first. 8 take away 2 is, sorry, 8 times 2 is 16. Then I do the plus, so this is now ranking next in line. 10 times 10 is 20. Now I do 20 take away 16, and that'll give me an answer of 4. Here I've got brackets already, 2 plus 3, so that is 5. Then times 5 equals 25. This one here, I do a division first. Later, I'll do a multiplication. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 take away 3 is 5. And that is order of operations. And that's it for page 4. Thank you, boys and girls and parents. Thank you.